Now, your weather forecast with meteorologist Brandon Lashbrook. Well, late last night or early this morning, we had a line of showers and storms that rolled through the area, brought some rain, some thunder, some lightning, maybe woken you up, but those have since moved out of here, and we're more so on the calmer and quieter side as you wake up and head out the door for your Friday morning. In fact, we have a beautiful sunrise to look at after that rain moved out of here, so a nice tranquil start to our Friday morning temperatures, and generally in the upper 60s, lower 70s, and if you walk out the door, it doesn't feel all as muggy as it has been in previous mornings, thanks to that kind of rain-cooled air from the storms that roll through the air a bit ago. So here you see the, re the remnants of the storms as they kind of weakened and died off east of the I-55 corridor. Although notice well off to the west though over Texas, well we have more showers and storms. A big complex of storms prompting the severe thunderstorm in Washington portion of Texas right there heading toward portions like Houston and the Texas coast. That is riding along this frontal boundary that's been draped over the area for the past couple days or so. And that will begin to kind of move east, southeastward, and then gradually eastward heading to our area as to go later today. So out the door right now, though, seeing things on the quieter side here in Baton Rouge, no rain, but look off to the north northwest, though. It's starting to see some of these showers developing near uh, Alexandria, Marksville, heading toward more northwestern counties and parishes. And so a few isolated or scattered shower or showers will be possible this morning and through the late morning hours as well. And then later today, though, we have a chance for maybe some strong, possibly some isolated severe storms as we have a level one Mars and risk for today and as well as Saturday. Main threats would be some damaging wind gusts, some flood, some flooding rain possible as well. I can't rule out some, some small hail and we can't rule out maybe a tornado or two for more so for today, though. So make sure you are weather aware for today as we're expecting more rounds kind of waves after waves of showers and storms as you go through today and through this weekend. So it's kind of time now for you as you go through today, though, roughly around lunchtime or so, around 1, 2 o'clock, I think you're going to see this next wave of showers and storms moving in from the west, moving across our area. Again, the best chance for some of that severe weather, more so off to the north and northwest of Baton Rouge, but it could include the area as well, north of the interstate, uh, the I-10 and 12 corridors. But as you go through the evening, though, still can see a few showers out there and possibly it's going to be seeing another Another round of showers and storms moving in from Texas off the from the west into our area tonight, maybe around 8, 9, 10 o'clock or so as it begins to move eastward. Then we could see on Saturday multiple rounds of showers and storms. This one, the timing of the exact rain gets a little bit uncertain on when exactly we'll see the rainfall out there, but we'll see again some scattered showers and storms throughout the day for your Saturday as that front kind of hangs around. And then once again for your Sunday, going to be seeing some more scattered showers and storms throughout the afternoon and into the evening hours as well. So today, though, will be another warm day as high as climbing to the to upper 80s out there with the heat index value is still in the lower to mid 90s with that humidity still kind of high so it's still going to feel rather hot today for your Friday even with the clouds out there although with the clouds and the rainfall Highs may be a touch cooler in some spots where we get some of that heavy rainfall. But through this weekend, though, highs still in the warmer side, upper 80s, with the heat index values as high as 95 or 97 degrees, and we'll have that daily rain chance as well for your weekend. So have this plan B for any outdoor activities you may have for this weekend. But then as you go to the core of the new work week, well, rain kind of becomes a little more sparse, and then the heat is back on as the heat index values climb to the mid to upper 90s, maybe even hitting 100 degrees in some areas by midweek or so, as we see on the seven day forecast. We'll have the rain for this weekend and then only lower end rain chances by Monday onward through Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. And then the highs will be climbing to the upper 80s and lower 90s and our mornings too, a little bit touch on the warmer side in the mid 70s.